It's another beautiful Monday on Your View. Welcome to the show. Hi, I'm Morayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Hi, ladies. Hi, Hi. Morayo. <laughs> I just started having a running to, run to me. I think what I ate for me. Oh. <laughs> How are you doing, Nima? Okay, I'm very fine. How was um, your weekend? Weekend was multitasking. Um, and I learned a big lesson to focus part time on one thing. Mm. So usually I would um, do housewife chores, mothers, do my law Wife. business, have proposals, type them, documents, prepare, negotiate, make calls, and not calls, and I think I'll do everything together. But I made a very, very grievous mistake on uh, Saturday morning, I repeated it yesterday. So I think I should now focus part time on one thing, get it done right. before I move to another. Mm, organize yourself a bit better. It's, yes, it's very important. So I know that you can't do everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. So focus on but it, whatever it is. I'm not one to not ask for help when I need it. But these days, I just Feel think, you, you do know... All, do everything. I, I, actually, I used to achieve everything, but I think I need help. And so yeah, get some help. Ask for Hi, help. Dear Mariam. How was your weekend? My weekend was good. Um, unfortunately, I mean, yes, I went for a wedding. Really nice. <laughs> I met a couple of fans, and someone gave me... A, just for being on your view, gave me her, what's the thing they give? Souvenir. Mm -hmm. Yes. Aww, and also sweet. one for Jumoke. Aww, <laughs> so thank you, Miss Lawani. Then um, I missed um, the play. I couldn't make it. The rain, oh, just as I was yes. about to leave, and it was quite serious. So oh. I decided to stay back. Fantastic. But I watched this movie, right? The Wizard of Lies. It's an old movie. It showed in 2017. Mm. I talked Lies about Wizard of Lies. Yeah. So it was talking about, you remember the Bernie Madoff story, that um, huge scam that happened in America where he took, no people, he took people's money and, and stole people's money. People invested in him. It was a Ponzi scheme. Oh, okay. Yeah. But what struck me that movie, his wife went to make her hair in her usual hairdresser's place and they refused to attend to her. So I was saying that in our country, imagine if we treated people who are stole, yes, who steal from us. And it's then, one of the ways Africans dealt with crime back mm. in the day so back in the days you, uh -huh. you, you you're, you're not someone that keeps to your word you promise and you fail mm -hmm. the community Everybody will ostracize will you as a wife you cheat on your husband the women will ostracize you they will not buy or sell to you and if so it, it was effective then it was effective then now, people, nobody wanted a lonely life yeah. so how was your weekend um weekend was supposed to be spent working but i was a bit under the weather so i spent most of my weekend online observing politics <laughs> as it played out across the country you know and somebody attacked me personally on instagram saying that um and he, she, he knows i like politics and i haven't said anything concerning what's happening with legal states your view while being partisan about it and i said okay this show is your view i can give my opinion during banter which is um it's undeniable that the governor has offended some strong people it's also undeniable that he has stepped on some toes i think in that same vein it is undeniable that he has been working that's, That's a I'm fact. Doing. And we can also not deny that he has begged consistently. So my opinion is that, can we forgive? And that is my opinion. It is your view anyway. <laughs> right. Where well, was Where right, are you? My well, weekend was great. Uh, my aunt opened her store. Yes. Uh, Jewish that? store, yes. Mm. Was that your aunt? Yes, my aunt. She, she owns the store in the... Then that spoke in the Instagram video. No, that's my cousin. Oh. So my, her daughter. Oh, that's my, her, that, that's her daughter. <laughs> like, what is that city? Yeah, my aunt has a jewelry. That's why I got my wedding ring. But she's she, always had it though. She always had a store, but she opened a new store at City oh. Mall. But that store so doesn't speak. look affordable. You wrote it is affordable, affordable actually, according to her. According to her. <laughs> <laughs> for the quality Maybe, of what you would get. Yes, so it's quite, quite affordable. But um, yeah, it was fun. And then we went for the play. Joy is to be ah, where I just play. Cool, nice, nice play, nice, great attempt. Um, yeah, so pretty much was a good. I did. I had a lot of yeah. homework. Did, did they give you books yeah. to wrap? Yeah, no, no, no. We didn't get our books to wrap, but did they bring back did, um, their books to wrap? Fifty books to wrap the children's what books. What do you mean to wrap? Their books, the school books. To school books. It from yeah. yeah. Oh. Use wrappers. Use no, 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 no. You buy yeah, brown paper. They advise okay. don't use paper. You should use brown paper. So I had. Okay. I need to go and get brown paper. I, I need to go and find brown paper. Yeah. I, I need to go. Anyway. The job, the assignments for parents. Are, it's getting. It's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. So I have to go and print out. Can you do this right? I'm like, come on, man. Just teach the kids to do it. Yeah, so it's like it's a teach fun activity for them but in school. But they can't. It's tech, like they are six and they are like five. Print out no yeah, you, you don't print out no Can't you just print it parents. out yourself? In school. No, yeah. they should do it Anyways. in school. Well, I know. Well, <laughs> anyway, let's go on a break. <laughs> There's only one news in the papers. Oshu and the Polaris Bank. That's all we've got in the papers. Let's go on a break. We'll come back. We'll talk about it.
Don't go anywhere. I'm going to start with the punch. PDP, others kick as INEC declares Oshun State election inconclusive. inconclusive. Picture here of a bold new beginning for, okay, that's actually for Skybank. Oh, and the former Skybank, Polaris Bank. Polaris. So that is actually, in fact, they paid all the papers mm. to tell everybody that they're not Polaris Bank. Uh, National Assembly postpones resumption to October 9th, 2019 polls. Foreign investors withdraw 435 billion naira from stock market. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much what happened. Uh, let me take one more story. The major headline PDP others kick as INEC declares Oshun State election inconclusive. Right. So, uh, October so National okay. Assembly mm -hmm. has moved um, the resumption date, which should have been in two days, to two weeks more, to October. And they said that it's because most of them are talking about um, what do you, uh, the, the primaries going on, APC, PDP primaries. So they're deciding, the senators have decided that they would rather wait until those elections are done and then resume in two weeks. So, so that would be almost, the um, <laughs> truth is that I feel worried about how we have decided to focus more on politicking than in governance and it's not just national assembly it's across board and so i feel i feel really really worried but the people that will make the laws to prevent such things from happening are the ones practicing it so there's no way they will change those laws but we should have a case where everybody pays attention we have our minister currently going to be the dg of a campaign and and he's supposed to be working as a minister like let's focus i personally want to call out the leaders of the national assembly that's um, on uh, um, say president saraki as well as the Honourable Ugarra. Speaker Ogara, they should stop personalizing the business of the National Assembly. They should resume already. Mm. They yeah. should stop personalizing. I don't know the, what the fear is about. Well, the issue is the reason for the I comments mm. that they've said is because they've of said, the. They've said the reasons, the, and they will find the another reason tomorrow. So parties yeah, want to hold their primaries. Now. That is not what uh, taxpayers' money is supposed to exactly. concern them about. We are paying them to, to sit in, their, should have in the chambers only. and have uh, no salary. If they are exactly. only paid for when they sit. Per parents. Per parents. Probably. Sit. Everybody will sit. Yeah, but right now, whether you sit, you don't sit, you are on, you are on okay, break, you, you are not getting, getting paid. Nation. Nobody talks about this, how polarized. Okay, I know it's, it's, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. We don't talk about it, but we'll talk about it very briefly. because Everybody had a nervous breakdown Friday. Yes, it's our salary account. But... Thank God everything is. Okay, let's move on to the nation. Oshun, APC, PDP trade words. FIRS rakes in 13 billion naira from billionaire tax debtors. 377 world chairman endorse Sonolu. Hmm. Shagamu sleeps <laughs> as Joshua uh, beats Povetkin and Heritage Bank wins a Greek SEME's um, award. So, All right. So let's FIRS. talk about Joshua. Okay. Um, you know, the <laughs> Anthony Joshua beat uh, Povensky, as it was his name, <laughs> I think, uh, over the weekend. And the um, reporter who had gone to Shagam, his own uh, town, was surprised to see you, the, uh, the unusual quietness. Anytime <laughs> Joshua had a battle, the it's people really of Shagam will buy over all the viewing centers and you see a crowd like they were in the stadium cheering after him, even though he's fighting abroad. But this time around, the chairs were not in Shagam, it happened in Remo. Yeah. And they are wondering, Shagam, why would I come sleep? Yeah. So that's the, so the why did they so do you know why they slept? Maybe he did not share. No, 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 no. Share, I think they were not, no longer them. as excited as they were. Uh, yeah. You know Nigerians, you are our son. Yeah. Come and do something for us, yeah. that kind of thing. I'm feeling. I think you should acknowledge yeah, because as much as we, them. you are British and you're already, you're, you're known there, this is your home. And he has acknowledged. He has done. I mean, no, he, they, he, you, he you know what happened the last time? I don't think the last time everybody shot down for him. Because when he was going to fight, it was the first time he was excited. Now after that, life has gone on. They moved on. Politics is there. Another son of the soil abroad <laughs> doing something. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, one more story. FIRS. FIRS. Yeah. Yeah, so, so FIRS is raking in the big bucks. So um, in less than a month, it's raked in almost 13 billion. That's 12.66 billion. From you remember um, last week we talked about them making a whole list of 
um, accounts that have a turnover of a billion and over. Any accounts or billionaires' accounts? Yes, yeah, so accounts. they turn, have a turnover of a billion and over. So just from those accounts, of course, they are uh, in a month. They've gotten twelve point sixty six. Well, I was given this report when um, the new minister of finance went to visit the, this office, yes. so to show that how much work they've put in since they were insisting on collecting um, well, taxes from well, the billionaires. We regular workers mm. are used to paying taxes that we even fight to get mm. our um, tax acknowledgement for. These billionaires have mastered the art of getting their own monies mm -hmm. out of this net. I'm hey. I, I'm, we must applaud we'll the applaud FIRS. FIRS for doing okay, this. let's move on very quickly now to New Telegraph. Oshun shocks APC, Arag Beshola, and it declares Guba poll inconclusive, mm. orders we run in five PUs. Uh, PDP to INEC, declare Adeleke win and APC begs voters. Uh, 3,498 voters to determine Adeleke Oyetala's fate on Thursday. National Assembly shifts resumption to October 9th. And we talked about um, FIRS or Billion. So let's talk about Oshun State for a second. Oh, actually, I want to take the Kwakonsor Peak Son in Law Volcano PDP Guba ticket. Three months after Raskimono's wife, yeah. Efe, dies, oh. yes. unpaid rent, landlords give quick notice to Ondo Judiciary. So let's so take... Let me start with the Ondo quickly. Yes, very quick. Let's so do in Ondo states, they are, they, while they're building a new court complex, they've rented out some... For their magistrate's cause, they've rented out the building from uh, one of the landlords. And some of the landlords are being owed their rent mm -hmm. over the years. I think that this is Six an embarrassment years. Mm -hmm. Six years. to the government. Six and years. I think the present governor, who is also a, a member of the bench, should please quickly, quickly redress this right. yeah. um, um, embarrassment. They've been given quick notice, so there will be no sitting going on so until they as finish. As long as your rent is due, ah. you no longer have That's the an entitlement to any, any notice. Those six months, all those uh, statutory notices, you are no longer entitled, so it's a, immediately a, to recover from On a side note, Raskimono's uh, sure third wife, actually, who is actually most closest to him, mm. dies. According to one of the reports, um, <laughs> Someone actually spoke to her a day before, yes. and she was she was really upbeat, saying her daughter's going to release an album and all that. And suddenly, actually, when I called everyone and said, "Listen, this woman has passed on." Really yeah. sad story indeed. Yeah. Yeah, so rest in peace. Yeah, so rest in peace. Yeah. Moving on now to Daily Sun. Oshunguba PDP APC goes for rerun on Thursday. Mm. FIRS rakes in 13 billion. Anambra gully erosion threatens court, federal secretaries, and others. Let's talk about Oshun State now. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. For those who have no idea, please, who wants to give us a... So, obviously, um, there is, um, there's a rerun going on on, th on Thursday. On Thursday, 27th. And because that's because, yes. The elections took place um, um, between on Saturday. on Saturday. And between the PDP and the APC, the difference... or The, the, uh, the PDP won by 300 persons, 300 um, um, voters. voters. And the about. margin is like 10 percent of what was the cancelled vote which was over three thousand so the idea is once the ma legally once the margin of um the, ma the margin of cancelled votes is higher than the difference between both candidates there will be a rerun within those areas where they had cancelled votes so, so it's not right a now, general rerun, it's seven, just rerun of those yes, places in seven locations there would be polling units, polling units seven polling units where they had a ri high number of cancelled votes there would be a rerun to confirm who the election um who would win or carry the day so far That's PDP is leading. Okay. Yeah. And then the nervous breakdown that happened on Friday, Polaris Bank. Okay. Yes. So I was all sleeping. Because well, I was that's already that's sleeping. All our salary accounts, we me. had the, the internet broke that the CBN are taking over the Sky Bank. Mm. But fortunately, they put out a public um, notice that you know there will be a bridge bank, and the bridge bank is Polaris Bank. And they have guaranteed all depositors' funds mm. and investors' funds in the bank. Staff and everything continue exactly. business. Initially, on Friday, I couldn't use my ATM. Uh, I think it was also Saturday mornings. And everybody was getting, I mean, there's panic all over. I mean, <laughs> people panic, could not panic, wait for Monday. People, people, around me, people around me, <laughs> were young girls panic. around me were panicking. <laughs> okay. They calm down. But thank God, by, I think, by Saturday evening, the ATMs were working and um, everything's gone back to normal. So, so I, there's, I no, there's no nomenclature for Sorry. now. It's just yeah, a nomenclature change. The so management stays the same, yeah. the staff stays the same. This is a no, major change. Yeah. The bank is taking over yeah. due to um, you know, abuse of uh, bank access and investment. Why? Because there's business. Two there'll trillion. be printing, there's advertising, there is new, as in, like the, the trail of effects would go all over. And then with a new management, there will be proper their staff. This will yeah. obviously affect their staff who are going to be giving new terms under the new bank. So most of them will be optimized their work. 
but the test for this particular It's still early in the day. It's still early. Let's see what happens. Okay. Sure. Uh, very quickly, Vanguard, 3,498 voters, Omishuri, Lasso, others to, to decide. And how Skybank lost 2 trillionaire assets. Let's run very quickly now to this day. Same thing. Everybody's talking at me. Polaris Bank is all over. INEC declares Oshunga ownership race inconclusive. Fixes Thursday for rerun. So we're all waiting for Thursday. Yep. And it's a good thing that it's not, the, it's not a total um, shutdown of shut, the states. Yeah, everybody is. Seven polling units. Everybody is just. On standby, waiting for and the results also on Thursday. It was violence free, so which is commendable. For the Ocean people. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we can take on the pages of the newspapers. When we return, hmm, hmm. our dear minister said <laughs> that <laughs> doctors can also become farmers. <laughs> and people are having issues with that. Why? On Let's Talk, we discuss why politicians are seeking continuous re election. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. So the Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adewale, is currently facing a lot of backlash on social media after he, he, he fumbled on the question, why is it hard for doctors in Nigeria to get residency training to become specialists? According to him, all doctors cannot become specialists. And can they even try their hands on other things like farming, politics? He further stated that it might sound selfish, but we can't all be specialists. Ah, we can't. Sure. Some will be farmers, some will be politicians. Even the person that is doing that did the dress. Is it gown? Whatever he said, he said. The gown that he was wearing. That he he wears. Said, doctor, doctor. That he wears. He said, doctor. And he says very, very well. So what are your thoughts on this? You can join the conversation at 70 8066 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag TVC so we can read your tweet. Mind you, I called one of my, 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 my brother-in-law, who is a very, very, very successful doctor in the United States in Michigan. I said, please, okay, let me before I even get there, because part of what the minister had said is that in Nigeria, we have one doctor to about 4,000 plus over, yeah. patients, which is actually very, very good compared to other African countries. That's what he said. Compared to, mm. that's what he yeah, said. Compared to other mean. African countries, mm -hmm. that is very, very good. So I have to now call my brother-in-law. Hey, ah, What's the ratio yeah, over your, there? Your own uh, Ubudu mm -hmm. How is it over there? He said, it's actually one to 50 patients, one doctor to 50 to patients, 50. but they're working hard to make it one to 12 patients. <laughs> and that's the, that's the goal they have in mind, to make it one to 12 patients. So I'm thinking, hmm. okay, if that's one to 4, where, are, where are we going yeah, to start from? You see, obviously, Obviously, in your view, our minister does not use our general hospitals in Nigeria. You'd be surprised, he might. That's not he, judge. He doesn't use the federal medical center or the state hospitals because there is no way you will rationalize a ratio of one doctor to 4,000 patients and say it's good. 1,000 people as a reasonable thing. But no, one eyed man. He said, he said, yes. well, he said we're not bad. He said we're not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the video. He said we're not bad. We're not doing bad. We're not doing bad. We have one doctor to, to 4,000, over 4,000 4, 4, 4, patients. Um, no, people, yeah. population, might not be patients. But I consider the problem we have that the report he was using was May 30th. Registered doctors, not practicing doctors. Because we have many registered doctors that are not practicing. One, our minister should have more sensitivity to the plight of the people that use general hospitals. Two, he should, if he doesn't have a solution, he shouldn't say anything. Because it's telling us that mm. one person, a doctor can effectively cater to 4,000 people is not realistic. I, I gave birth to the general hospital and I, I knew what the experience was. My father went to, Federal Medical Center um, on the, uh, I mean, where is that? Where is um, Onyibo? Onyibo. And, I, and I, I got his experience. We have a challenge on our, in our health sector, and we expect more from our minister. Right now, he is not doing anything okay, let me come well, to, name to that appease comes the you people. You see this selfish mentality of our leaders. You know, when you get into office, you become out of touch with reality. It, 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 breaks, it breaks my heart. May I just inform? The Honorable Minister for Health, what's his name? Isaac Oduwole. Adewole. Adewole. That Namibia already took cognizance of this issue that you just mentioned. One doctor to 4,000 patients, and you're not doing anything rather than discourage your, 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 your counterparts from vying for, spe uh, for, for, for specialists. In Namibia, they're already scooping our doctors with, with higher motivation. 
so that you have a resident doctor here who is paid a, a, a consultancy salary in Namibia here, that country that doesn't have border. <laughs> I don't understand how these doctors, I stayed with them in the hospital, and to God, they are overworked. I saw a patient slap a doctor who was running between three patients, and it seemed to her that she had abandoned her, yeah, uh, he had abandoned her baby. Slapped the doctor, and the doctor couldn't do anything. He went all just to, to get a drip. Fixed the baby and said, Madam, I was going to go and buy this drug quickly because your child needed this as an okay, emergency. Okay, let me, let me come They are tomorrow. overworked, under, under motivated, overwhelmed with the service. Right. And what they want to do, there's nothing wrong. I, as a lawyer, want to someday to be called a senior advocate. So you cannot tell me not to buy in my career yeah. for growth. Mm. And I tell you to go to the farming. To go and do. I did not see farming when I went spend nine years to do medicine. Okay, let me, let me. I let don't me, understand. Let me come to Mara because there's a four letter word mm. that is very, very short. Very, very small, but it's so profound. Something called tact, tact. that our leaders seem not to have mm. in, when, in public speaking. Yeah. Yes, he might make some sense, saying that, listen, we can all be, yeah. we, we can all be, listen, we can't really all be specialists. There may be, maybe he has, but is it, was it tactful no, it was for him to tactful. say such? Yeah, see, it was not tactful. And I, and I share, you know, the sentiments. But I was thinking that maybe I, sh I, I can sit down here and play devil's advocate. Okay. And bon it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bon yeah. Which bon is tact. Probably, you know, I, I was listening to the person that asked him the question. She sounded young. She sounded, you know, like a young person. So I thought maybe he was trying to come to her level and give her a response. Because I read this man's bio. This is an intelligent man, well schooled and everything. So mm -hmm. this is not this that, this is not this someone that I. I think you know do, do not does not understand how important it is that we better. have yes who should know better i think he just the wrong time wrong thing he said the wrong thing it was just a, it was just bad timing i don't think he really meant that but then i just really wanted to get to know this person so i was really in a few interviews here and there he has a son who is a farmer so i thought and then the, the son in that interview said his father would actually prefer to be a farmer so i said okay doesn't that interview sort of make sense then? That this is something that the father likes to, you know, would have loved to pursue. Hmm. Then it should so be minister that, of um, yeah, health. Should be, so because I'm we're just trying to be, yes. We're all clamoring that we should have um, people within that industry. A doctor should be the minister of health. Yes, so Let's have a doctor, a minister of health, who understand what is going on. But so far, down the line, how many months have, how many years has it been in power? How has the health sector improved? Categorical statements. We've had, I had a dentist I went to check and two hours, my, my next checkup, when I got there, it wasn't there anymore. Gone. It was gone. And this is a registered dentist. Mm -hmm. How are you monitoring the doctors going? Is the minister aware mm -hmm. that almost every day we're having people resign and leave? Does he have the data of people that are doctors that are leaving and are coming back? Yes. Because of the numbers, you should know. There's That's nothing what, that should worry you. You have a okay. problem. Well, can I, can, let, me, let me take this call from Kaduna. Kaduna, Ethel. morning, Aide. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Go ahead, please. Ethel, go ahead. Hello? Morning. Okay. Morning. My husband is a professor of surgery okay. in one of the teaching hospitals. My husband is a professor in one of the teaching hospitals the in the north. Yes. And there was a day he was so busy after coming from the theater, the patient had to ask him, Doctor, please go and rest because we can see that you're tired. You cannot attend to us. Yeah. There are so many doctors looking for residency, looking for place to be placed. Why would I go and spend seven bloody days in university to go and farm? This minister should just get the hell out of there. Thank you. Okay. And you let, let, see let, the passion. Let's be fair on the minister. Let, 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 let me come from this angle. See, we let me come from this angle. Don't let, let me, me forget this thing. Okay, go ahead. See, the passion with which these doctors come into this work, mm. don't take it away by being, you know, dispassionate Insensitive. towards them. I saw a doctor run off the stairs to save a woman who went into labor when she shouldn't be pushing mm. because she had previous scars. And immediately his heart, he was palpitating. Hmm. I saw this doctor overwork himself. And I sat with him that day, hey, doctor, he calm down. He said, no, I don't know what to do. Now, you are not in that position. As a minister for health, in Lagos, with the population we have in Lagos, we have just one federal medical center. Hmm. Okay, and we pushed for a federal wait. medical center to be located somewhere in Badabi. Let, so let, the people let, in Badabi who it. have only one general hospital by the state government would, you know, would okay, patronize let's that. Let's flip it a bit. Let's flip it a bit. What if we've all sat here on this couch but our government should focus. Pick something. Is it education? Is it health? Is it agriculture? What, it is, what is it? Now, paraventure, let me use my pastor's word, paraventure. <laughs> 
if we're saying our focus is agriculture mm. and say, listen, should, doctors, all, all our doctors, they're, they're doctors should turn to farmers. even doctors, if they do turn to farmers, we can always, oh, at the oh. point, listen, we can actually import doctors back. You know that we can actually get revenue from agriculture, have enough to then pay those international, those, those are those, oh. the, those guys who have left, right. pay Where them back. Those those so the point I'm trying to make is that. Listen, it could be a strategy. I'm trying to flip it. Mm. It could be a strategy that we don't like what you can bring back said. the Nigerian doctors abroad to come and work here. No, no, we don't like. We are already on. We don't have enough doctors. We have enough registered doctors, like Tokwe said. Yes. But the hospitals are under-equipped. Mm -hmm. We do. You come to a personnel. We don't have enough I doctors mean, in the hospitals. Yeah, in the few that we have are overworked. It's they are helping us. They are dying on the job. Some people had that attack on the job. You have less than six months. Let's just be more sensitive. See, when we were asked questions, yes. it was not a, it was the point the, is that if you are not was, in touch with reality, you can't break. be sensitive when you ask questions. We have to go on a break. It's not what he has given reality. an advice. If a doctor you and you don't find break. work, it can't be expected. Just try farming. No, no, no. Let's not try so That's what the minister said. Let's finish with that. Please. Please. Ask, that's yes. what the minister <laughs> said. Please listen to your minister. That's what we can take. When we come back, we'll actually ask our guest his thoughts on this on this um, topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view. Right back. Welcome back to your view. Thanks for staying. As, as elections close, come, come close, there, uh, different politicians are coming out to declare their intention for re-election. Now the question is, is it complete what they've started? Is it to complete what they've started? Or is it because of their non-performance or selfish reasons? Joining us on the show is a member of the Federal House of Reps, uh, representing Ekwe Federal Constituency, Honorable Wali Raji. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Before we go into the topic of the day, what are your thoughts on what the minister said concerning the doctors? Well, as reported, I want to believe that uh, there is a missing gap somewhere. I want to believe that uh, the minister was not properly reported. I want to believe so. Okay. And uh, I will reserve my comment okay. uh, for now, allowing him some days to respond. To respond. Okay. Because uh -huh. uh, I believe that uh, for a person to have gone to the university to study medicine for so many years you right. know uh, he had an option he had an <laughs> option to go <laughs> to uh, department of agriculture faculty of agriculture or any other department you know you. uh before uh, forging ahead with something and having gone that far you know i think that uh, so so if you were to see the minister's video yes where he was saying what he said, what would you say to him as a, as a lawmaker? Coincidentally, he happens to be uh, a person I know very well. And uh, under normal circumstances, he will not have said. There's a video. Okay, let, let, let's, let's not. Okay. I, I, think, yeah. I think it's fair enough. He, will, he, will, he, he will have opportunity to defend. But himself. what do you think okay. of our health system? Especially no, that your, we still have a lot, a lot to of do. We have a lot okay, let's to go do. back. Let's come to the to issue of, at hand um, concerning people vying for continuous re-election. We understand yeah. the four, two, term, two terms for the governorship That's and right. all the other positions. That is clear. Yes. But for the house, yes, people can people can be there for. Ever. We've had mm -hmm. said this senator David Maxine. Mm -hmm. yes. Deception so, of our de this democracy. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. worrisome to the electorates that mm -hmm. why is it so difficult for new people to come to take over those positions? Why okay. do, we, do we need new people? What the first and foremost is within the constitutional right of uh, a legislator to seek re-election again mm -hmm. and again. It is with the belief that uh, a legislator, a lawmaker, is like wine. Mm. The older, <laughs> they the get better. better. Okay. But it is for the electorate to decide that, okay, as the, as the experience be beneficial to us, and we want him to continue to go back. You see, um, seeking re-election, 
basically um, is either one will be determined for this. We have to go back to the to the basics. Now, why did the person, the legislator, uh, uh, decided to go to the I mean, to the House of Representatives, I mean, to, to the House first. Because you said it is left to the electorate, electorate, electorate to, yes. decide. to decide. Yes. What exactly is the job description of a House yeah. of Representatives yeah. person? That's, that's One, true. what are the KPIs that will make me know you have been effective? That's right. If our people out there know this information, that's right. they'll be able to better rate that's right. how effective you've been. That's right, that's right. Now, basically, the basic function of a lawmaker is to get involved in the process of lawmaking for good governance. Okay. You know, because every action of government is guided by legislation. Mm -hmm. So um, one, we now look at what are the qualities that you look for in a legislator to be an effective legislator. Because there are so many people that uh, will come out uh, seeking election into the something. First, we want to look at the competence of the person. What are the things to what do? Are what are the, the competence? I mean, competence that is, <sighs> a, unlike in the executive, mm. the, uh, the, the legislator is there. It's, it is the personal qualities of the legislator so that determines, okay. that, so, no, no, excuse me, that would determine his performance. For instance, you want to look at his academic qualification. Okay. You look at his intellect, the depth of intellectual his mind. Uh, uh, capacity. You want to look at, you know, his experience, for instance. What is he bringing to the table? Right. Okay. You so know, what happens so, in, sorry, sir. So yeah. what happens in cases where we have a governor who's done his two terms and it's sort of, we have, we had stories where the person in the Senate or in the House of Representatives is holding the position for him. So as he's finishing it, he's jumping in there, and then the other one is holding the position of the governor, he jumps in there. Why? What is it that he has right. not done, okay. that he has not done his eight years, that is not enough? And he can leave a legacy and say, my eight years, I'm so proud, this is what I've done. That's and right. then you, the legislator, this is what I've done in the terms I've been here, and I'm done and I've gone forward. Why are they switching back and forth and holding positions for each other? Well, um, it's, it's, uh, I need to be careful in answering <laughs> this question. You see, you, you said that, uh, the legi I mean, the a governor, after completing his two terms, now uh, somebody holding uh, yeah, the it just position seems so. for him mm. and then going back. So as the governor probably, approach, uh, you must stay. So mm. you do. Probably, it in. Yes, yeah. probably. So, so, no, 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 no. Probably, yeah. probably, you know, probably having experienced uh, governance, uh, governance at, in the legislative arm of government, he probably wants to continue service to, the, to his okay, people, instance, to his no. people, to his people, you know, in How the legislative, you think in the that legislative the governor of, of government. Um, if we look at the person, of, of eh? I don't want to, I don't want to be personal. I don't <laughs> yes, want to be personal. I don't want to be personal. So, um, what, why is it that as a governor, yes. if you must continue in office, yes. you don't want to be within your constituency? Mm -hmm. For instance, the former governor of Lagos State, as the former governor of Lagos State, why is it that you must want to ascend to the Senate? Is it like it's, the, the red the chamber path. is for your, you know, your level, your retirement, you have to grow? No, unfortunately. If, if you were truly passionate about your constituency, yes. it might not necessarily be that the Senate is the place to go. It might be your House of Assembly. Mm. Mm -hmm. If exactly. truly mm -hmm. your constituency is your concern, yes. if the governor, like the governor of Lagos State now is from Ekpe, yes. and you wanted to go out of office, yes. if I would prefer is representing the people of Ekpe within the State Assembly, That's ensuring right. that their rights well, and privileges in a place protected within the state. To be honest, to be honest I, think, I, I, think it, I think it all depends on the individual. Mm. Now, uh, those that uh, are seeking after completing their uh, term mm. as governor seeking election to the to the Senate, I think uh, it, I will, my advice would be to bring one of them to your Come studio on. and ask them the question. Okay, because let me I've ask you personally because you have done four back. years about to finish your yes, four years and you're seeking re-election. Why are you seeking the re-election? 
One, when I decided to uh, seek election to the House of Representatives in 2014, yeah. you know, I told my people that from since 1999 to, uh, to, to 2015, it was like my constituency lagged voice in the house, mm. uh. lagged identity in the house. Mm. And I promised them, you know, that I would give them quality representation. Okay. How do you measure, for instance, how exactly. do you measure, how do you measure, yeah, you know, the, I mean, the, yeah, the, the, the performance. Time you have, yeah. Now, from 20, 20, 1919, I mean, 1999. Sorry, I was going to break. Okay, Sorry, yes. I have to cut you off for a second. Yes. When we come back, we'll find out from him how he has actually represented his people That's in right. that voice that you are taking to the house. That's right. What have you done in the last That's four right. years? That's right. Stay with us, we'll be right back. That's right. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So many people that run for House of Reps, yes. the House of Assembly, always tell us the same thing. Oh, we wanted to go and give our people a voice. We want to give our people representation. Mm -hmm. So you've been there for years. What, That's right. Which yes. voice have you given your people? That's what exactly right. have, you, have you done that? It's significant. That's right. Yes, you're giving them a voice. To appreciate, to appreciate my achievement in that area, I want to take a, I want to go back to 1999. Between 1999 and 2015, my constituency was represented by four, pe four people. Between these four people, only two motions were moved for a period of uh, how many years? Uh, I mean, uh, over 16, 16, over years. 16 years. But within three years that I've been there, I've succeeded in moving 12 motions and two, you know, on the, in the pipeline. Now, this, and in terms of bills, which are the core functions of, uh, I mean, yeah. uh, moving motions and uh, sponsoring bills are the core functions of a legislator. You know, now within this uh, period, from 1999 to 2015, no single bill was sponsored by any of the four that represented a preferred oh. constituency before oh. me. Okay. Mm -hmm. But me now within the three years, yes. I, have, so I have sponsored two bills. One is on uh, the amendment to the personal income tax, such that we change, you pay your tax where you earn your income, where you work, and not where you reside, that you know. So, you and two, the other one is on compulsory compensation for victims of road accidents, you know, because By the, uh -huh. By now, the as, as I'm now, okay. ah. excuse me, the situation now is this. When you bought a vehicle, a commercial vehicle, you know, it's like, Yes. A contract, there's a contract between you, yes. you know, or not written between driver. you and the owner yes. of that, to to of that vehicle to get Safe. you to your destination safely. Safe, yeah. It is not a contract to take you to your grave. Mm. It's not a contract to take you to the hospital, mm. hospital mm. bed. Yeah. So yeah. now, but now, but now, you see, as it is now, right. when accidents do occur, right. you are left to your fate. Exactly. It is your okay. family that is covered. Right. So with this Point. bill, we, that, that's what Morning, we take, Let me take this call from Kaduna. Morning, are you there? Thanks for calling. Yeah. Go ahead, please, Aisha. Yes, okay. Um, good morning to everyone. Morning. Um, I watch your show a lot. I think the ladies are fantastic. Thank you. So, um, I'm Honorable Raji. I think that you made a good, um, you know, argument for your re-election. But the question I have is, you know, there are... Earlier on, Miriam talked about governors and senators holding thoughts for each other and then one coming into party while the other one is waiting. My question is this. If you are a governor and then you have finished your eight terms, sorry, your two terms of eight years, you're supposed to be given some sort of gratuity, which each state describes or decides what That's they right. want to give. That's right. Why won't governors who want to go ahead and serve the country as senators opt not to take that package. 
since they're still going to be paid salaries and all of the bits, why will they opt not to take that package? Why should they go ahead, take all of that money, and then still go to the uh, uh, Senate and then get all of that money too? Okay, point taken, Aisha. Quick addendum to Aisha's own, because I, Aisha is expecting the governors to be to be magnanimous. Uh, magnanimous. Right. I'm saying that you're in the law-making business. That's right. How come you haven't in the past three years seen an amendment to this law to be a motion you want to push for? No, the amendment law. to the law. The, 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 currently, yeah. there's yeah. no law against no. you taking that money. You no, can no, take no, your no. gratuity no. and still be paid your salary as yes. a minister yes. or as a senator. Yes. Have you or considered making a no, law no. that will stop now, that from the happening? Now, the law, the law providing for this pension something, yes, sir, they are state laws. Yes, sir. They are state laws. It, it, it depends on each of the, uh, the states, you know, to make such uh, laws. Yes, and I don't think that uh, the pension, I mean, the, the retirement uh, package, you know, are the same, you know, yes, uh, amongst the states. Yes. It, it, it varies. So I think it's the responsibility of each house of assembly, yes, you know, to uh amend the law such that uh, if you go further from being a governor to the something it's either you take the one i mean the the new something or the so, uh, i'd like so to the focus. question will now be that do you think that lawmakers will be willing to take to make to pass a sort of bill or make the sort of laws knowing that they might you know in future um, become governors and want become to become governors. Why not? Why not? You see, look, look, it all depends on the individual. Exactly. To me, to me, I see, personally, I see uh, all these positions, you know, as opportunity to, uh, to give back to society. You know, for instance, if you look at my own background, I was a permanent secretary in Lagos State okay. for 11 years, nine months, mm. you know, and I felt that, uh, look, I haven't come this far. I was born in Akwe, mm. I schooled in Akwe, I went to Unilag, and then I mean, if uh, I worked in the service, rose to the level of the so permanent secretary. So why haven't you donated your salary entirely to the people of Akwe? Like you say, my entire salary. I That's want to right. serve That's Akwe. Right. I, I want my entire salary, sir. I donate out of pay, service. Pay, you made money as a permanent pay, secretary, sir. Third pay, third pay. So uh, I earn my salary as permanent secretary. Yes. So if that is what you mean by making money, then I leave that to the uh, But I've given more than my salary, you know, sense. to my people. For instance, okay, for no, instance, we're not, we're not, we're not campaigning for you. Yes. 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 I'd like to focus on the bills. Let's focus on the issue. Yes. Yes. I'd like to focus on the bills that you've passed. Yes. And I must commend you. Yes. Both bills that you mentioned, especially yes. the one for the accident victims, yes. I applaud it 100% because yes, it's right. unknown yes, to right. Nigeria yes, right. that people, someone should be providing for yes. the welfare of the passengers in the bus. Yes. If you have an accident, FRSC will take you to an hospital and you help yourself. That shouldn't be the norm. And that would encourage safe driving yes. by the past. Yeah, no, no, it's, 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 gone, it's gone through the, exactly. the second reading. So that's you know, it was at the second reading. It generated a lot of debate. Unfortunately, we, have to, we can't take any more of this. But yeah, unfortunately, I can't even let you sell yourself because I know you're trying <laughs> no. to sell yourself. No, no, no it's not even it's not selling myself. Off, but yes. unfortunately, that's what we can take on the show. Mm. Thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>